Hi, Floyd here again with Blue Chip Options and OEXOptions.com. We use point and figure charting exclusively. And you'll have to forgive me while I read some things to you off of StockCharts.com, which I think is an excellent learning tool for you in the understanding of point and figure charting. I'm again trying to show you how the X's and the O's work. Let's remember first that X's represent increasing prices, also known as demand. O's represent decreasing prices, also known as supply. You can only have X's or O's in one column, not both. The reversal distance, and this is the important part, is equal to the box size, in this case 1, a 3 to 1 ratio, multiplied by the reversal, in this case 3. So here's an example. To begin with, um, let's talk about the difference between the first day's high and low. Prices are falling. So let's start with this stock with a series of O's. And you'll see that they, they dropped dramatically um, from 15 to 11 on the first day. Um, so the first day that you're charting the stock, you put into a blank column of boxes a zero at 11. The second day, now we're going to watch for two things. Does it lower even further? And it would have to lower an additional point or whatever your ratio is. It didn't happen on day two, so we do nothing. It stays steady. Again, no noise. On day three, it lowers again, and it lowers enough to go down by a point. So we're now at 10. So we see the stock steadily decreasing. Now, we'll check the first low. If it doesn't move past the previous low, we don't add another O. In other words, if it doesn't decrease more dramatically, we stop. Then if we see that the high was greater or equal to the bottom of the column plus the reversal, 10 plus 3 equals 13, we then start to mark whether the stock will go up. Since the high was 15 that day, that means the chart did reverse and we had 5x's starting one above the low of the previous column. So you'll notice that it stopped at 10 the prior day the next day it started to move up, and it moved up dramatically, so we were able to put four X's in the column. That's the basics of how someone hand charts. I suggest to any trader that you learn to hand chart at least three to five specific stocks that you're studying using StockCharts.com for um, the basic training tutorial. And by hand charting, you get the, the core basics of how point and figure works. Next, I'll start showing you how you can read point and figure charts.